Hello Cancers and welcome back to my channel Luma Moon Tarot. So Cancers I'm here to do your daily love update. Yes I do have some cards out. <laughs> I'm still playing with this flash deck man I love it. Um, and I've got uh, the situations deck out here a little too just to get me started. I did feel the multiple energies watching you when as soon as this card came out. So it's very, very intense, okay, Cancer? Um, and they're, like, critiquing you. They're picking you apart, man. Anyway, guys, listen, this reading is for the collective. It's not going to be for all of you, okay? So just take what does resonate. Toss out the rest. Um, don't ever try to force a reading into your world, right? You guys know that. It's like the number one rule. Don't force it. Um, and thank you, Cancers, for your likes, subscribes, comments, shares, donations, everything that you guys do that helps this channel keep growing. Thank you so, so much for your support. Um, all right, yeah, what I'm seeing here, Cancer, is this was actually the last card out, okay? Um, and it, this one kind of, I had to stop. Something just made me stop and really stare at everything. All of these people, if you notice, I, I felt the multiple people watching you, like really intensely watching you. This focus, though, that's your energy. I'm feeling like you're the one who's focused. You're focused on you. You're doing your own creative thing here. Um, and, and these people... They're just picking you apart, man. This was the last card out. If you look at these cards, though, there's something up with their eyes in every single one. I feel like this is multiple people here. I feel like you definitely have someone who's absolutely obsessed with you. I'm feeling a lot of, like, karmic energy off of this, but I'm feeling masculine energy, okay? So I feel like you have a karmic masculine that um, is up all night, unable to sleep, but this is like dark, kind of like, um, I would, it, it reminds me of the uh, Seven of Swords, okay, or, um, yeah, no, Five of Swords, sorry, I don't know, both, it's, it's someone who just wants to, they're, they're, they're focused on you, they're fascinated with what you're doing, they're watching you nonstop, but this is somebody who has bad intentions. Like, this is somebody who would plan something to do something behind your back, try to sabotage you just because they would think it was funny to do it, okay? So I feel like this is a karmic individual, but I'm really feeling heavy on the masculine energy. I'm also feeling like there's a feminine karmic watching you as well. Now, this is somebody also, if you notice, they're hiding. They're just wearing glasses. There's nothing wrong with this person. Probably very, very intelligent. Could drink a lot. They could, like, lay around, watch you, go out for food or, or beverages, and come back and watch you some more, okay? Okay. Um, so this is somebody who's just kind of obsessed with you here, but they're hiding. So they're watching you under an assumed name. Um, this could be a heavy drinker, okay? Very heavy drinker. Um, and then there's someone else here who's very, very sad um, and just depressed. This is like depression, sadness, suffering a loss. You've got multiple people out here all watching you like a hot cancer, <laughs> you know, um, bending over backwards, doing whatever you can for whatever it is that you're building. I feel like they're watching you online with all these computers. It's a computer here. And uh, you're doing something. You're posting something that you're doing creatively online. Yeah, some of you, as soon as I pick this up, I'm thinking yoga. Some of you could be doing yoga or you could be a yoga instructor is really what I got, okay? But that it could be for anyone. <laughs> um, but yeah, you're doing amazing things here and they're watching you. This is an amazing thing. Fascinated, okay? They're fascinated at whatever you're doing and putting out online. So 
any kind of social media that you have, any kind of online business you may have, these people are seeing it and they're they're just absolutely obsessed. One wants uh, wants to bring you down just because they think it's funny. They want to stab you in the back and possibly I just I don't know what they want to do. We're gonna find out. The other one here is a karmic individual who's just absolutely obsessed with you, just totally obsessed. Yeah. And the other one, and I feel like they don't do anything besides watch you and, and maybe maybe drink or eat, overindulge in something, okay? And one is just really brokenhearted. Um, I feel like somebody wants to talk to you, but they really don't know how. They're, they're studying you, too. What did I say about picking you apart? So whatever it is you're out here doing, they're fascinated about it. But, like, they've got a lot of bad things to say. Um, like, they're, they're, they just critique you. Well, you know, I'll give that performance an, a, a six. Well, no, I would, I'm going to give it a five because there's this, this, and this wrong with it. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like, the, I feel like they're just watching you, man. It's like you're... Um, They're picking everything that you do apart. I can't really quite describe it. Uh, somebody may want to say something to you, or they're just watching you under an assumed name. I, I feel like they may want to talk to you, but they don't know how. Uh, and you're out here, like, shining bright. Uh, you could be, like, traveling right now and posting that. And look at how googly-eyed they are here, too. This puppet is just like, what? Yeah. Yeah, look. Look at you. You're just skating around, right? Looking all great. You're like, ta-da, right? <laughs> ta-da, look what I can do. I'm super smart. You're surprising these people, too. I think some of them did it. There were maybe a couple of them here that didn't think you were too bright. But you're really smart, and you're happy. You're out here shining, doing something fantastic that they can't do, and you're just showing it off, and you're being just wonderful. You're out in the sunlight. You're doing great. Smiling. Look, you're happy. Yeah, look. And they've got you under a microscope. This is somebody who's trying to learn what you do, and they can't. Look how frustrated this person looks reading this, trying to study. I'm telling you, they've got you under a they've got you under a microscope, Cancer. They're trying to figure out what you do. Uh, someone here is. Uh, it may be this one. I don't know. They're trying to figure out what it is that that you're doing. They. I feel like it's your creative energy here. This is, this. look at how bright, this is all white here. Um, I feel like it's just your energy. They're, they're bound. They may want to try to bind you. Maybe shut you up. I feel like they're, I feel like they're being bound because this person is frustrated, angry because they're trying to figure this out. They're studying you. They've got you under a microscope here and they can't figure you out. But it's your energy. It's your creative energy. Some of you could be pregnant, too. They're starting to fight amongst themselves here. So these people could know each other. But let's get some tarot on it. The one I'm worried about most is this monkey. <laughs> This monkey obsesses over you, and they would love to sabotage you, I feel. Um, so I want to clarify this monkey first for cancer. Clarify the monkey. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys. So, okay, I got to call out this person's name. GNM. GNM. Um, I On TikTok. I was on TikTok um, 
yesterday and uh, <laughs> I my daughter actually found this person she watches my videos and she makes videos of 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 herself watching me and there's one on there that I just about died laughing because it's me um it, it's me singing I touch myself <laughs> on TikTok and it was hilarious so I just wanted to give you a shout out thank you so much um it really actually makes me feel like a rock star to see me out there like that you know um other people you know posting me and it's it's just it was funny and thank you so much I I really love you guys you all of your support man okay so anyway I just want I I it popped into my head so um yeah these people I feel like they're they're tr either trying to find out what you're um what you're doing how you're doing it or they're trying to figure out a way to bind you and stop you somehow hold you back um clarify this monkey <laughs> clarify the monkey I feel like this is a karmic masculine that's really, yeah, it's a karmic masculine. Um, so somebody out there has a karmic masculine watching them, wanting, like, to do something. Okay, there's, I feel like they're seeing you from a different, like, this could be somebody that um, you guys have been with, you know, before, I feel. They see you as being an empress very very abundant this is all of them though all of these people are out here watching what you're doing and watching you have a glow up i've got to say it that's really what i'm feeling like here this person could be a pisces or um an, a fire sign clarify the monkey Clarify the monkey for cancer. Who is this person? I feel like they're watching you have a glow up here. Um, and I feel like they're planning or would like to plan to bring you down. That's kind of the feeling that I'm getting off this monkey, I have to say. I don't have any cards out here saying it. Um, not yet. Anyway, what fell on the floor? Gossip. They're talking about you behind your back. I told you, there's some kind of backstabbing. They're causing a, um, some, um, they're stirring up some kind of gossip about you, okay? But yet at the same time, I feel like this person loves you, but they're, they're uh, like hiding their love. They're holding it back. Um, this could be a Pisces or an, it could be an, an air sign as well. Um, sorry, that one snapped and I, I don't know what it was. Um, yeah, I feel like this person, in a way, they love you and they want to get you to calmer waters, but yet at the same time, I really feel like this person may be talking about you behind your back, creating some gossip, or they may have in the past. I feel like you're sta you're you know who this is, right off the bat, huh? <laughs> Cancer, you know who I'm talking about, don't you? Um, I feel like this is your energy. You're standing your you're standing your ground. You've got boundaries up against this person. You know that their energy is just bad. Okay, you know their energy is bad, and you know this person. You know this person could even be talking about you behind your back. I feel like you're not saying anything to this person at all. I feel like you're standing your ground, standing in your boundaries with this person. Yeah. Yeah, you may even have this person blocked. Uh, this could be a narcissist here, a control freak. Yeah, I don't like that person's energy at all. I, th I think they would backstab you. I, I think they're talking about you behind your back now. Okay, and I think you know it. Um, and you just have your boundaries up. You're not saying anything. You just, you're like, I'm, but I'm not dealing with any more of it either. You know what I mean? 
Yeah, and you're just focused on you. You're putting your focus into whatever business you have or creative endeavor, um, your spiritual journey, right? Maybe you're um, going farther in that, learning more things, whatever. You're, whatever it is you're building here, that's what you're paying attention to. And I feel like this person may be upset because of that, because you're not talking to them, because you've turned away from this person. And you're not communicating with them at all. And I feel like they're not used to that. This person wants control. They're upset. So I feel like they're they're stirring up gossip behind your back. Um, that's what I feel like. Yeah, you know. <laughs> it's not a secret. I feel like you know and you're still not saying anything. You know, you're still not saying anything about it. So this person is really truly gossiping about you. Um, what are they saying? What are they saying about cancer? What are they saying about cancer? Yeah, all of these people are just, they've got you under a microscope. That's all I can say. Um, they're telling people that they probably told them in the past that you wouldn't ever have anything. Every, all of your efforts were, you know, for nothing. But it that's not true. I feel like they're telling people that you don't have anything. You don't None of it is true. Not even the stuff that didn't make any, the incoherent mumbling, that's not true either. <laughs> yeah, I feel like they're telling people that, um, that you wouldn't have accomplished anything maybe unless, you know, they gave to you, right? They're telling people that you got nothing and they're, that you rely on them maybe for money. And you have nine pentacles out here just for you. I think that's really funny, right? You know whatever they're saying is a bunch of BS. You know. Because you're just focused on you. You're staying in your own lane here, Cancer. You're just focused on you. And, man, they might not even know, actually. This person may not even know how abundant you really are. Because you've been keeping your moves hidden. You've been silent. You haven't been talking about um, what you've been doing. Okay? So, yeah. They may not even know. They may still be telling people that you'd amount to nothing, basically, if it wasn't for them giving to you. Like, they're telling people you're the one in the tattered blanket. Okay? With a cup out. But in all actuality, you're freaking abundant. <laughs> like, this is, this is so abundant for one person. You only need one more pentacle to have the ten of pentacles, man. And really, all you need, you have everything you need here. And then some, all you really need is, is love, a partnership that offer, the right offer from the right person, the right way, at the right time. You know what I mean? The right kind of partnership. Yeah, that's all you really need. So this person is just out here spreading lies, basically. Basically. Yeah, so... They're telling people that, you know... Uh, you're never going to go anywhere. Like you're never going to be, you're always going to be waiting around for your abundance, right? Only having this one pentacle, you know? Yeah, it probably they could even tell people that, you know, you're, you're sad about it. You, you know, they could tell them that you work, but you don't make anything, that kind of thing. But in all actuality, you're an empress, and extremely abundant and this person knows it uh, they well they know that they missed an opportunity in love with you they may not know how many pentacles you've got but this person's just being this is somebody who's kind of um 
pouty and kicking rocks and having a little hissy fit, okay? Because wherever they are, it didn't work out. It didn't work out for them. It works. It's working out great for you, Cancer. It's working out awesome for you. You don't have the stress of this monkey, okay? You're out here single and just staying in your own lane. And they missed out on you. They're, this is somebody who's acting like a child, kicking rocks, and they're spreading this, this gossip about you um, because they're, they're an upset emperor because you blocked communication and you're standing your ground. So this is somebody who's just lashing out because you refuse to deal with them anymore, okay? You're, ref you're, you're boldly, like, it's up front. Like, you don't have a problem saying it. You, you don't want to have much to do with this person anymore. Mm-mm. Not even much. I think you've blocked them out completely and you're standing your ground. Okay, so let's clarify this one. Clarify this person, this karmic with the uh, shopping cart of booze. Who is this karmic with the shopping cart of booze? <laughs> Who is this karmic? I feel like they may even leave the house like this in a bathrobe and <sighs> to go out and maybe, I don't know what they're getting. I mean, it, they could... They're, they're overindulging in something, whatever it is. I feel like it's more like watching you. You know, they just this is somebody who just wants to hustle back home so they can watch you again under an assumed name. They're hiding with the glasses on. All right, so what else? Uh, clarify this. Thank you. Yeah, all of that is the truth. Yeah. What's with this love? Clarify this Ace of Cups. That wanted to come out. Yeah, somebody's coming forward towards you. I feel like they've gotten some clarity too. They, um, somebody is coming forward to talk to you, make you an offer. It's just been very slow moving. Um, I feel like they know that this person's coming towards you. Hold on a second though. Let's find out. Clarify this Ace of Cups. I didn't want to take that because it was just too many, but it, I let it fall out, but it was too many. It didn't feel right. So, yeah, I feel like they know, they know that your, your person has a decision to make in love. And this person could know that it's true love. And they could also know that it's a divine blessing in love. And I feel like this person watches so much and is so obsessed with you because they're about to lose this person because of this connection. Oh, and they're upset because you're extremely good looking and all of the attention and focus is on you. Yeah. So they're upset about um, your looks. They're jealous of your looks. They're jealous of your drive. Because this is somebody who's like a warrior and you, you've been through it and you go after what you want. And you want to be happy and you're bringing in that happiness here. But I feel like you're also in like a, a spotlight. Um, I feel like you guys are doing something, like I said, in the public eye here. Okay? That everybody's able to see. So I feel like they're upset that you're so, you know, you're a hottie. And you're getting a lot of attention. The, the spotlight and the focus is on you, including from this person um, who they know is this is a soulmate connection. This could even be a twin, your twin flame here. This is the karmic that they're currently with. The one who's overindulging in, in uh, alcohol, maybe. Doesn't have to be. It could be anything you do too much of. Okay. And that's what they do. They lay around in their pajamas and they do that. And they watch you. And they study you. And they pick you apart. And they try to figure out a way to bind you. So that you stop whatever it is that you're doing. That's making you happy. They're just jealous. 
It's another jealous hater, but they're all they all have you under a microscope here. They're all watching you. Okay, they're all watching you. All right, so let's clarify this guy, the sad the sad person. Let's clarify. This is somebody you're moving forward from. Okay. That's your energy, um, Cancer. You're moving forward in your chariot here, having a victory. Okay, so who is the sad person? Um, clarify the sad one. This person, this one who's sad, since these two are overlapping here, it just, this, I keep getting this one in my sight. This person may feel bound and stuck. This could be the person who's currently with this karmic. I feel like this, um, the monkey, the karmic masculine energy um, is separate from this, a separate person. That's, but take it however it resonates with you, okay? All right, what else can you show me here for the sad person? And I feel like they're all hiding from sight. If you notice their eyes, right? They're all hiding behind something. This one's hiding behind darkness. This one's hiding behind tears. And this one's hiding behind glasses. Okay. So they're all hiding. All right. Yeah, this is somebody who wants to offer you their love, but you're moving forward here. They want to maybe apologize, tell you how they feel about you. This could be love bombing, but not really feeling love bombing. Having to defend themselves because they were deceptive with you in the past. Um, so they, they could be worried about having a, um, a conversation with you because you are very much a warrior and you've been through it. <sighs> you've been through it. And I feel like now that you're having a victory and you're out here shining bright, um, they, they may be worried about that as well. You know what I mean? They're feeling very defensive about the thought of coming forward. Yeah, because they played you. You could be dealing with a fire sign, a water sign. Um, but yeah, this person played you before I feel... And they're going to have to explain that. This person has a lot of explaining to do. They've got a lot of explaining to do. Yeah, they need to bring justice to the situation. I feel like because they were juggling, they were... I feel like they were juggling two people. I, I, I feel like this person is with this karmic. And this person's a separate karmic masculine that, like, just wants to cause you a bunch of chaos and destroy you, maybe. <laughs> like, for real, I, I don't like this energy at all. And I feel like, though, these two are together. And I feel like that's who they were juggling you with. Is this per person with the shopping cart of booze? They were juggling you with her. Yeah. And I feel like this person now, they know that you were their Ten of Cups. Um, ultimate, ultimate wish fulfillment here. This is the kind of life everybody dreams of having, right? All these kids are jumping around all gleeful, right? You with, with the perfect soulmate. It's, it's uh, side by side, you know. Um, you both got each other, right? Like... It's, it's a, it's a um, mutual equal give and take kind of kind of life they would have they know they could have this ten of cups with you but they played you in the past and now i feel like it's time for justice to come in here they need balancing these scales um and oh geez that one split yeah look they they got to confront the fact that they had you trapped and stuck in your mind about this for how long they had you in a mental prison Gave you no clarity, abandoned you here to sit here in this mental prison, thinking about the situation. And that's, they did a lot wrong, man. 
they played you they were deceptive um they had you trapped here stuck they abandoned you i feel like they juggled you with someone else there was no communication i mean and they waited too long there's just there's a lot that this person has to confront and i feel like they're really worried about how you're going to react to them coming forward okay that's really what i feel like they're worried about how you're going to react to them coming to talk to you and that's maybe why they're studying you so close to is because i feel like they're looking for a sign some kind of sign that it's okay to approach um but it really just adds to their problem and I, I chose those words carefully because I feel like I feel like you're moving forward doing your own thing here and it really is at this point their problem okay I feel like they also this is what they're juggling this queen of swords here and you there's your third party yeah and you're out here being a star look you're their six of cups I say that in like almost every reading. It keeps coming up, guys. That's why. Um, all they can do is think about you. Missing you, wanting you back, and you're out here being a star. I'm telling you, doing something in the public eye. Being an empress. Shining, having a glow up. Um, pouring healing energy back into the world. This is a healing card. You could be a, a spiritual healer, spiritual teacher. You could be another tarot card reader out here on YouTube. Um, you're, you're a guiding light for other people. And I feel like with the world card here, you're allowing this last cycle with these people to come to an end. Number one, that's why they're all watching you. Because you're not paying any attention to any of them because you're focused on you and you're focused on your new beginning and you're going into it strong okay showing showing the world everything that you're made of here highly intuitive really connected to the divine everybody's watching you look at all eyes are on you here you know we've got We've got four people. I'm counting each one of these in these corners, right, as people. If these are people, I've got four people. I've got three people out here watching you. That fourth person, I'm, I'm picking up on a new energy. Like, you may have um, a secret admirer here, too. I'm just picking up on it. So, just so you know, that's a side note, okay? Haha. <laughs> Um, but yeah, you're about to enter into this whole, look at all this green around you. See that? It's abundance. And I feel like, um, I feel like this person is getting ready to communicate. Um, they're getting ready to, I don't know, say what they want here. You know, tell, they, I see them laying here and getting ready to communicate with this four sword about this three third party situation this juggling between this queen of swords energy who i feel is pretty upset feels very betrayed um wants answers and that's why i feel like they watch you non-stop um and you i mean you're easy to spot though you're out here in the public eye i feel that's coming in strong yeah, I feel like things are about to get moving, shaken. You're an empress energy here. You're getting the wheel of fortune turning in your favor. That's what people are seeing. I feel like this person is jealous of that as well. They're just very jealous of you. They're jealous as like how you look because you're you're beautiful. Um, they're jealous about um, maybe it, it's your intuition because you're focused here. Um, and they're jealous that you're very, very abundant and you're, you're a star. All of the attention is on you. All of it is on you. You're in the spotlight. This person has a lot to be jealous about. 
maybe they're feeling that it may not be too long before they're out on the street pushing a shopping cart in a bathrobe. I don't know. But they feel very threatened by you, okay? And that's why they can't, they're picking you apart. Okay? Because your person, I feel like your person wants to come towards you, yeah. You could be dealing with um, an, an air sign. They could be dealing with an air sign. But these two together, they don't really get along. I always feel that off of these two. You know why? Because of the way they communicate with each other. It's too harsh. It's too cold. They play little games with each other. Backstab, tit for tat, little arguments, petty, bickering, fighting, um come you know getting a you know one up on each other um playing dirty tricks on each other being sarcastic cut downs this is harsh cold communication here between these two okay so i really feel like it's this person and the person who's sad but i feel like this person wants to communicate with you and they're thinking about how they're going to do it they're they're really praying it goes well okay but yeah i feel like they want to get back together and it's like a tick tock situation here they better get it moving you know because you're an empress and i feel like the wheel of fortune's turning in your favor too your i mean your energy is beautiful. Look at your energy, Cancer. The world, the star, the wheel of fortune with the empress. Uh, the queen of wands, you're a toughie, okay? Um, been through that battle. You're a warrior. You're a warrior queen. Um, in the spotlight, twin flame soulmate stuff too. And, of course, your abundance here with the empress and the minor arcana. You've got it going on. I mean, you're having an ultimate glow up here. Yeah, it's a transformation. Because you did what you were supposed to do. My battery died. My readings have gotten so long for you guys. I'm really sorry, but you know, I love spending time with you. So, But yeah, anyway, Cancers, you're out here having a complete and utter transformation. And you, you put in all the effort, all of the effort that you had to. You, you followed what the divine wanted you to do. You picked up on the messages with your intuition. And you did it. And it's beautiful. And uh, you're out here glowing. You, you've got a hater. You've got another hater. And you have somebody who loves you and misses you. And they're all studying you like under a microscope, picking you apart, judging you, critiquing you, every little thing that you do, but all for different reasons. Okay? So anyway, guys, listen, um, I am going to take this over to the extended... Um, I don't know what we're going to find, but I want to see what comes for you next, okay? So if you're interested in that, there's a link to follow at the bottom of the description box. That'll take you right to my Patreon. And um, I love you guys so, so much. Um, I hope this helps. I hope it resonates with you. If you, you know, if you like it, go ahead, click that like button, subscribe to my channel, help me grow, right? And until next time, Cancers, take care of you and peace out.